Hey everyone. So today I'm going to do a product review on Every Man Jack body bar or soap. And you're probably thinking to yourself, wait a minute, Every Man Jack, isn't that a product for men? Um, yeah, it's marketed towards men. Uh, let me let me back up here and tell you how I came to end up buying this. My husband and I were at Target one day and we were walking around looking at stuff and we end up like going and looking at what we want to look at instead of walking around together and um, so we had been looking at stuff for quite a while so I was all done looking at everything I wanted to look at so then I went looking for him <laughs> and I found him in the men's section where they have all the products for men <laughs> my husband is on this kick lately where he wants to buy all these soaps and lotions and creams and stuff that say for men on it and um, to me it's like you know soap is soap and shaving cream is shaving cream and uh, I don't care what the market for it is if I like the smell of it and I like the way it works then I'll use it you know you may feel differently about that um, so that's why I'm showing you this. Not only that, but I think 2% of my audience uh, subscribers are men. So they might appreciate having something special for them included in this. But anyways, yeah, so I got this at Target. Every Man Jack Body Bar. It comes in more than one scent. We got the one called Citrus Scrub because we are both crazy about anything that's got any kind of a citrus smell to it. There's little holes on the side of the box, mm, so you can <laughs> so you can smell it. It definitely smells like a man scent, but um, when we we have a, like a soap holder thing in our shower, so I'm not gonna set up like two separate soap dispensers and have two different soaps going on at the same time. So we just you know share whatever's in there. And it doesn't really bother me using this, even though it is like a man scent, because when once you put your clothes on and everything after you take a shower, it, the scent is going to be like covered up and faded, and so I have no problem using this, is what I'm trying to say. But it's got wheat bran in it, and when you open it up, it's got like an exfoliator thing on one side and then on the other side it just says every man jack and um, once you start using it you can feel the wheat bran in it a little bit every now and then you can get like the little um, you can feel the texture of the wheat bran but you, have you ever used a soap that was exfoliating and it drove you crazy because it was like too rough on your skin this isn't like that. This is like just the right amount of exfoliation. It's very, um, very small amount. Oh God, I love that smell though. But it's like a citrus smell, but it's got sort of other things mixed in that smells like, um, I'm going to say like a typical men's cologne. And we paid $4.99 and we got a multi-pack of four bars. So that's only like a dollar and a quarter a bar which is not bad at all um, I did get it at Target but if you don't have a Target near you and you're interested in this you can probably go to the website and find out where else they sell it the website is everymanjack.com and um, I don't know I, I really like this it's different um, I don't normally make it a habit of using men's soap but whatever it's it's no biggie to me it says on here no tallow no parabens no sodium lauryl sulfate no pathalates and no animal testing um it says will this give me a chiseled physique <laughs> chiseled Maybe if you work out, but smooth, definitely. This wheat bran based bar will cleanse, condition, and hydrate while gently scrubbing away dead skin. Plus, it features a special massaging side to soothe those tired muscles. And if you're not crazy about the massaging side, you can always just flip it over and use the other side. Citrus and wheat? Sounds like breakfast. <laughs> 
Yes, and breakfast is good for you. The fresh, clean citrus scent invigorates while wheat bran goes to work. Mmm, good. Veggie base cleans and glycerin holds moisture on the skin. So, I, I like it. I Would I go out and buy this for just myself? Probably not, because it is a man scent. But if you want to treat your husband or your boyfriend to something special, he might appreciate this. And uh, it does come in other scents, but off the top of my head, I don't remember what they were. But um, it's a pretty, pretty good selection. I think it was at least three different ones to pick from. Like I said, the price is right. It breaks down to $1.25 a bar. So that's what I think of every man jack. And it doesn't say soap, it says body bar. <laughs> uh, for products today, I'm wearing EOS Lip Balm. And this is the flavor Summer Fruit. And I have on Maybelline Dream Smooth Fo Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation. Doesn't pay to talk, try to talk fast. The Essence Forget It Concealer Palette. All three colors for three different purposes. Ico Cream is my highlighter. Cody Air Spun Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Milani Powder Mosaic blush in the color Sweet Cheeks, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I used this MAC um, Eyeshadow Trio. It's just called Pearl Matte. This was from the uh, MAC and Lily Land collection. And uh, I found this out of CCO and I can't say that I recommend it. These these eyeshadows are really not very pigmented. You really have to keep packing it on to see any color at all. So I don't recommend that. And for eyeliner today, what I did was I took this L'Oreal Le Grand Cole Eyeliner in Chartreuse, which is kind of like that, that lime greeny color that's in the trio. And I lined my eyes and then I went over that with Milani Color Brilliance in green because I wanted to get like a green and gold effect type thing going on. For mascara, I used L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. Filled in my brows with Revlon Color Stay in blonde. My lip product today is MAC Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. And on my nails is Brucci Nail Polish in Watermelon. And you will see upcoming product review videos on Brucci and also Color Club. Um, I have just recently discovered these two brands. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't discover them, but I, I discovered them on a personal level. We'll put it that, that way. And... Um, they're not brands I think that everyone knows about or has seen, so I think it might be interesting to do a product review video on both those brands of nail polish. And let's see, my shirt is from Forever 21. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's. This ring is from Big Lots. And this bracelet comes from a little store in Connecticut that sells... Um, things from Tibet and uh, some of the other Asian countries. So I think that's it then, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.